What is going on, Trash Talkers? We're back with another episode for you. Today, we continue our series on a deep dive of some of the best college prospects entering the NFL draft. Today, we take a look at Alabama wide receiver Devonta Smith. We're going to give you our pro comparison and tell you everything you need to know about this draftee coming in. All that and much more coming your way right now. The NFL draft is upon us, and we continue to take a look at some of the best players that we expect not only to be drafted, but to be drafted early on in the draft. And today, we're taking a look at Alabama wide receiver Devonta Smith. Yeah, Devonta Smith's a very, very interesting and great player. He was, of course, our Heisman Trophy winner this past season, and he was the Heisman Trophy winner for a reason. He is not somebody to sleep on, and as of a couple months ago, people were saying he was the best wide receiver in this draft class, and it's, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up going as the first wide receiver in this draft in 2021, because when you look at it, Devonta Smith is one of the most precise route runners with top end speed and hands of glue. He has the entire package. He has the leadership mentality that you want in a, in a player. Nick Saban has talked about his leadership abilities countless times and what he's brought to the Alabama Crimson Tide. And that's exactly what a lot of teams are looking for. The Miami Dolphins have the third pick in this draft class. And Earlier this offseason, we saw Brian Flores, the head coach of Miami. He was right by Devonta Smith, talking all about him, talking about how much he liked him and, and really couldn't keep his eyes off of him, similar to how we saw Urban Meyer with Trevor Lawrence. So I think that we could see Devonta Smith be one of the early targets in this draft and could be a surprise pick in the top five. Very interesting, especially because Tua Tagovailoa is the quarterback with the Miami Dolphins. He obviously played with Devonta Smith, but earlier this offseason, Devonta Smith said that he actually preferred Mac Jones as his quarterback over Tua Tagovailoa. I don't know if the Dolphins are really interested in bringing that into their locker room, but nonetheless, I'm sure the two would be able to figure it out. Uh, taking a look at Devonta Smith and his draft profile, um, you know, he's six feet tall. He's 170 pounds, and that seems to be the talking point around him. You know, everybody's so concerned about how little he weighs. Listen, he has been a, a, up against some of the best competition that you could possibly go against throughout his entire life. It, when it, whether it was high school or now college, he went through the SEC. He, he won the Heisman Trophy. He has not gotten hurt. He has shown that his weight is not going to be an issue. And then when you get to the next level, like, sure, you know, he might need to put on a few pounds here and there, but that's going to come over time. He's still growing. I mean, this he's still a kid. I, you know, these people who try to knock a, a draftee for whatever reason, in my eyes, they're just scared of how high he's going to be. So they want him to fall a few pegs, maybe fall to their position. I think a lot of these quote unquote anonymous GMs that are making these claims are probably guys in the back end of the top 10 that are saying, we want Devonta Smith to fall to us. Let's, let's, you know, say something anonymously. Hopefully he starts to drop. I, I you know, I, otherwise none of this really makes any sense. And I truly believe that Devonta Smith is arguably the best receiver in this, in this draft. And I think he's going to do incredible things at the next level. Yeah, and it'll continue to be a debate up until the draft, and we'll finally f figure it out next season when it's all said and done. But right now, the as far as NFL comparisons for Devonta Smith, I'll lead it off, and I think he reminds me very similar to a former teammate of his, Calvin Ridley. I think that the two of them have extreme uh, speed for their size, and I think that they can uh, perform extremely sharp routes. They can run any route on the route tree. And you can place them anywhere on the field. I think that they have so much versatility that they just resemble each other right away. And they were in the same system and had similar success. So I think that 
if you if you want to know what he's you're getting in Devonta Smith, look no further than Calvin Ridley. Yeah, uh, you know one of the best comps that I've seen for uh, Devonta Smith, and uh, you know I apologize because I'm actually taking this from somebody else, but Marvin Harrison, the great wide receiver from the Indianapolis Colts, longtime teammate of Peyton Manning's, had an incredible Hall of Fame career and deservingly so. Devonta Smith reminds me a lot of Marvin Harrison when he came into the NFL. What he was able to do, he he was able to run every single route. He had very good speed, sneaky speed at that. Um, you know, he was a little undersized, but he grew into his body. He got very strong, and he stayed healthy for his entire career. That's what I expect from Devonta Smith. He's a possession catcher who can also stretch the field. There's, there's a lot of similarities in both of their games. I truly like the comparison of Devonta Smith and Marvin Harrison. Now, as far as teams that we can expect to go after Devonta Smith, he'll probably end up going around the back end of the top 10 or possibly even between 10 and 15. I don't think he's going to make it out of the top 15 in this draft class. And I think he could go as early as Miami at number three. I think they could be a sneaky team to sign him, put him aside Will Fuller and Devontae Parker. That would be quite the trio for Tua Tunga Vailoa. But I think another team we need to look out for is the Philadelphia Eagles and possibly even the Carolina Panthers to replace Curtis Samuel. I think that those three teams are teams you should be looking out for. Yeah, I'm with you on all three of those teams. I'll give you one more team to look out for, the San Francisco 49ers. They lost a couple key receivers over the last couple of years. Look for them to replenish some of that by adding in Devonta Smith, looking for a receiver, whether it's Smith or Jalen Waddell or Jamar Chase. They're probably going to be hunting for a receiver. Everybody thinks that, you know, they're so eager to replace Jimmy Garoppolo. Well, they had a chance to trade him this offseason, and they sure as hell didn't do that. So, you know, might as well go get a receiver to support the guy you're not willing to trade, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, that's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love. <laughs>